Mike, your thing about fitting in, you can't get more fitting in than to create through the site the extension of the original Watling Street. This was the Roman road that took you from the south coast through to St Alban. We're guests in this city and guests in this country and we want to respect its traditions and I don't think you can do it more than what you designed here. The building is designed for our employees and our guests, our customers when they come, but mainly for our employees. It's going to be unbelievable. It's going to be spectacular for us and I think great for the City of London. I came across some notes that I wrote round about that time and it's the 20th of July 2010 and I'm summarizing here and I say respectful, fitting in, understated, conservative, classy on the outside and I wrote wow inside, enduring materials, improving with age and then in capitals I wrote sustainable. The future of your company is your employees and no matter what it costs, you want your people to be happy to come in every day, to tell their friends, I work in that building. They really care about me. They've given me the best facilities that they possibly can. That's what great companies do. The customer walks in and sees this enormous, beautiful, striking entrance that you've designed, and they say, oh my goodness, there's something different here. I'm fascinated by the way that design can somehow enable your organization and its values to function better. Normally in office space, it's dominated at its heart by the core, by the elevators, the service, and all of that's been pushed to the side. So the heart of the building is very much about circulation. I wanted people to be able to work together. You said the core is the worst thing that you could do because you can't see from one side to the other. So your solution was to move the core outside. And I think that's absolutely brilliant. And when it comes down, for example, to the desks, we did something very unconventional here. What we need is everybody to be able to work together, have some privacy and share ideas. What I love about your design on the Helix, it gives you a place to meet people. I'm going up, you're coming down. Once again, comes back to getting people together. This building, with its predicted outstanding BRIAM, which is the kind of yardstick by which you measure sustainability, is 98.5%, which will be a record in the UK and probably in Europe. Cities are where the problems are, cities are where the solutions are, and in cities like London, a breathable building like this, a fuel-efficient building where the lights are LEDs rather than incandescent bulbs, something like 20% of all of the energy generated in the world is used for lighting, and if you went to LEDs, you'd reduce that by 80-90%. Everybody wants to, in this day and age, be part of something that sends a message that we care about our planet and people want to be proud of where they are. This building is about people, not just your own community here, but the way that that community fits into the wider community of the city of, of London. I am an enormous believer that the reason why our company's been successful for 35 years is we've been able to attract the best people and get them to work together and retain them. I just want people to be happy and to cooperate and willing to innovate and take risks and think out of the box. I want everybody in this company to feel they're part of it and they contribute and the company can't go forward without them. And what we design does exactly that.